Hello dear students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about action of alkalis on certain metals. Now friends, what do we mean by qualitative analysis? Yes, if your teacher gives you an unknown substance and tells you to identify the unknown substance, how are you going to identify this? Yes, by making use of certain physical and chemical methods, right? Now physical method generally involves tests wherein you test the color, texture as well as solubility of the unknown substance. Whereas chemical tests involves reaction with other elements or compounds. Now friends, in this session we will be discussing about identification of substances by using alkalis. So let's discuss the reaction of alkalis with metals. Now friends, when metals react with alkali, it results in the form formation of salt along with the liberation of hydrogen gas. Remember this friends, when metals react with alkali, it results in the formation of salt along with the liberation of hydrogen gas. Let's take an example to understand this, right? So here I have zinc metal which reacts with sodium hydroxide which is an alkali resulting in the formation of salt along with the liberation of hydrogen gas. Now friends, the salt which is formed in this case is Na2ZnO2 which is nothing but sodium zincate. Now similarly, zinc reacts with potassium hydroxide which is again an alkali resulting in the formation of salt and liberation of hydrogen gas. Now here the salt formed is K2ZnO2 which is potassium zincate. Now let's take another metal. So here I have lead which reacts with sodium hydroxide which is an alkali resulting in the formation of again salt and liberation of hydrogen gas. The salt formed over here is Na2PbO2 which is sodium plumbate which is also called as sodium plumbite. Now similarly lead also reacts with potassium hydroxide resulting in the formation of salt and liberation of hydrogen gas. And which is the salt that is formed over here? K2PbO2 that is potassium plumbate. Now friends, aluminium metal generally reacts with boiling sodium hydroxide resulting in the formation again the same products we get over here that is salt and liberation of hydrogen gas. The salt which is formed over here is NaAlO2 that is sodium meta aluminate. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.